All right, I'm just gonna go for it. Um... <laughs> <sighs> Hello, people of YouTube. Today in this video, this is kind of a rant. I've been feeling a lot of futility in regards to social media, being a creative in this day and age. I just have some frustration that I need to express. So <laughs> excited to share and maybe you guys will agree or disagree. Before we begin, don't forget like and subscribe to the video, hit the bell notifications, all the usual things that every content creator on the internet says. Yeah, I've been feeling a little frustrated. <laughs> and it is because, so if you guys don't know what the word futility means, a pointlessness or uselessness. The reason I've been feeling this way, I found this channel called Moon. This guy makes some really, really eye-opening content. I've been binging so hard on his videos. Each one, I feel like my pineal gland is open even more and my perspective zooms out and I can see even more of the bigger picture. I will leave a link to his channel in the description below. I think you guys will also really enjoy his content. He talks about so many current things that are going on in the world. It's a political commentary taken to the next level. And his videos are edited really well. They're narrated very well. And I think anyone will find some comfort and understanding in these crazy times that we're living in. He's made videos about why he hates Jeff Bezos, why he hates Elon Musk, why M Mark Zuckerberg, the metaverse, uh, the Ukraine war, literally everything that I feel is important is, is talked about on his channel. So the thing that really triggered, I've been feeling futile about social media for a while. After watching his videos on Twitch and TikTok and Tinder, and Twitter, it just really, really brought it home for me. The frustration is that I feel like no one really gets awarded for talent anymore. And with this new age of five to 15 second videos on TikTok, people are just scrolling to get their next dopamine hit. People aren't getting this high from watching incredible musicians, beautiful artistic expression of anything. It's mostly underage girls who are shaking their asses to trending songs that are just <laughs> and then I feel like the, the algorithm is, is favoring and pushing more of the content that is that. And it's creating more beta males and causing more men to, to have these parasocial relationships on OnlyFans and constantly just avoiding rejection and swiping on Tinder. It is just so fucking fucked up how fucked up everything is. I know that it's like we're at the breaking point of everything and it's just gonna world is gonna end soon. This level of consciousness that we're living in right now is not working. It's gonna change real soon. And just like at the tipping point, all this like economic collapse, all the wars, China freaking taking over the entire planet. It's like right at the cusp. In the next couple years, I feel like we're gonna see some real shit happen. And it's really important for us to be grounded in ourselves and not living attached to our screens. We should be practicing our ability to be present and grateful and spending the time doing what we love with the people that we love. I really encourage you to go check out some of the videos on Moon's channel. Back to my sense of futility, it's like, I see so much awesome content on YouTube and Instagram, and you can find a bunch of videos on people saying how Instagram has ruined photography and just I feel like art in general, because in order for Instagram to keep up with TikTok, they have introduced reels and pushing out the creators who are creating more reels. The whole idea of photography and filmmaking is like put on the back burner now that everybody's doing five to 10 second dance videos. And <laughs> it's crazy what it's become. You're not rewarded on being talented anymore. You're rewarded on how stupid and ridiculous can you make your content to capture your viewer's interest in the first second? Otherwise, those will swipe right past you. This isn't me complaining about my videos and my content not getting views. There'll be moments where I waver, but for the most part, I really don't care. The people that do watch my stuff, I'm super grateful, but I'm not out here to make a full-time living on YouTube. I'm not here to grow my Instagram. I do wish that I had more people that I could influence. Not that I wanna be an influencer, but the more people that I could share the teachings of yoga and health knowledge and all the things that I'm super passionate about. You look at big Hollywood, you look at all the musicians, all the elite pop stars, they all had to sell their soul in a sense to be, to have this fame, to have this fortune. I'm not saying that it's impossible for creators that are trying to stay in line with their integrity for their whole creative journey. It's much easier to get in front of more eyes if you're doing what's trending and what's big 
in the current time, like using trending songs, shaking your ass, being as naked as possible. Yeah, just been feeling a little like pointlessness to making content. I was just scrolling on YouTube yesterday and even YouTube is favoring short videos, short vertical videos. And I was uh, scrolling, you guys can see right here, it was just showing up. I'm not even subscribed to this person and the video is called Just a Couple BFFs. And it's a girl playing the guitar and then her friends in her pajamas in the background and then gets up and shakes her ass in front of the camera. That's the video. I'm gonna tell you guys how many freaking views this video has. 18 million views, 18 million. I don't even know who this is. I don't know why, I'm not sure why she shows up on my newsfeed, but I think people are clicking on her videos because she's in bikini and she's playing the guitar. And oh gosh, this is like all, you can see all of her videos here. She's just wearing like a bra or a swimsuit and uh, playing a short little riff and she's getting 10, 15, 50, 100K views. Here we go. This is the one that made me really upset. She's playing What's My Age Again by Blink-182. It has the tab, it has the guitar tab on it. She plays it once, two bars and she's just looking straight into the camera, wearing her little swimsuit bra, and has 127,000 views. Like anybody can play the What's My Age Again guitar riff, but if you do it in your bra, and you do it vertically, and you post it to YouTube Shorts, automatically the algorithm is gonna favor your video. And this is like, <laughs> she's so outraged because I know there's so many wonderful guitar players out there and so many talented people. They're not like sexualizing themselves. They're just, it's just, uh, it makes me so mad. Again, I'm not making this video to complain. I don't care. I've, for the longest time, my YouTube has just been like a portfolio where I show my professional work and then I make a vlog for my family to watch. It's just me expressing my thoughts. It was never my intention to grow a really big YouTube channel. I'm just uh, my little soundboard for myself and a place for me to document my feelings. But just lately I've been wanting to, just today I felt just a lot of frustration to rant about these things. And yeah, it's just crazy what the world has become. Like all this girl's videos are just her in her like little Canadian bikini or her bra. She's just like okay at the guitar. And the reason she has so many views is because like half the frame is her naked body her mediocre guitar riffs. I don't know, sorry. I'm not putting this person specifically on blast. This is just an example. There's so many people out there that are making videos just like this. If you look at like one of the biggest TikTok stars, I forgot what her, I forgot what her name is, but she's still in high school. She pulls 10, 20, 30 million views per video for shaking her ass. She's not even 18 years old yet. So you can just feel like what this is doing to the future generations and the children. A lot of my friends who have kids, their kids are on TikTok all day long. If you watch these videos on Moon's channel about, he has three videos about TikTok. I'm not quoting Trump, but it literally is a threat to national security. This is an app that was created in China, owned by Tencent, which is one of the largest data harvesting companies in the planet. I can't present it in the profound way that Moon does it. Pretty much, China is collecting all of our information. When you accept the terms and agreements to use TikTok, you are giving them permission to go through all your messages, all your phone calls, your GPS data, everything that you're posting, your keystrokes, who you're talking to, what you're buying, across all your apps. So they're gathering all this data, they're collecting information on every single person around the entire planet. And the speed at which TikTok has grown and is going to continue to grow, it freaked me out. Yesterday, I deleted the app from all of my devices. You could say the same about Facebook and Instagram, but they have what they call peer-to-peer -peer encryption. Discord, TikTok, and a lot of the other apps that have been bought by Chinese companies, they don't have that end-to-end that -end encryption, which allows a lot of third-party people to steal this information and sell it for whatever purpose that they please. Yeah, I feel like TikTok is Chinese spyware. Socially engineer the entire planet and it's molding young minds in such a scary way. Ah.
feel a little bit better getting that off my chest. I didn't want to come off as judgmental because I know in the bigger picture of everything that everything is always happening in perfectly divine order and consciousness is just going through this age where we have to learn specific lessons in a really difficult way. I just feel it's like unfair and unbalanced what social media has become and that it's not a place where we can just artistically express ourselves anymore. It's overly sexualized, people are on it way too much, and their whole lives revolve around how many followers they can get, and who's validating them, and yeah, it's <laughs> pretty crazy. <laughs> So the thirst never gets satiated. We always, the cup has like a hole in the bottom and it never fills up. We need to come back to a place of gratitude and presence. This is just a reiteration of what I always share in my other videos is that be able to feel fulfilled with what we already have. Cause this like changes the whole vibration of our being and allows us to just, just be here absolutely in the moment. Like every layer of our being is here in the moment. I am guilty of this as well. It's just we're always thinking about what we have to do next or thinking about things from our past that didn't go the way we wanted. And we're constantly just missing the point. Yeah, so I think it's important for us to just stand in our truth, stay in integrity, do what is most aligned with ourselves and to help others along the way. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say in this video. I'll probably have more rants in the future. So <laughs> if you guys maybe feel the same way as me, maybe you guys can leave a comment below and let me know what you, if you feel futile about social media. Consider subscribing if you want. Check out my stories on Instagram. That's all I got. All right, peace out. Mwah.